What's going on guys, Pat on the shop. A little tech tip Tuesday for you. Uh, I want to show you something that you might not know when you're checking main bearing clearances. Uh, let's take a look at this. This is something you guys might find interesting and that is the rear bearing clearance that's affected with uh, the oil pump being torqued down. Uh, this is something that some guys argue make no difference, uh, but I'm gonna show you it actually does. So what we're gonna do is we have a gauge, uh, bore gauge set up on the rear bearing here. Uh, we have it zeroed out, as you can see in the zero mark here. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna torque this down, it's loose right now. And we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and torque this oil pump down, and then we're gonna see the difference it makes on uh, on the bore gauge. It is a small difference, but you got to remember when it comes to bearing clearances, we're dealing with small differences. So let's let's take a look. All right, so while I'm torquing this down, I'm going to have you guys zoomed in on the, the bore gauge here so you can actually see the movement as I torque it. I'm going to torque it in increments so you can kind of see, uh, you know, what's going on. And we're going to start at like 30 foot pounds, 40 foot pounds, and move my way up to the spec of 65 foot pounds on this oil pump. So let me zoom in on this bore gauge and we'll try this out. All right, so let's start torquing this oil pump down. We're gonna start at 30 foot pounds. And what you guys should see is some movement in that gauge. So I got you guys zoomed in there. And then pulling on this cap, we should start seeing that needle move up, showing an increase in clearance. So here's, uh, here's 30 foot pounds. You should see it start to move. 30 foot pounds. You can see now we're just coming off the zero mark there. Let's go to 40. A little bit more. We're gonna bring this right up to 65, which is our torque spec. And you can see right on, basically uh, we've increased the rear bearing clearance by a thousandths of an inch. So I'm gonna do now just to prove that everything is still zeroed out, I'm gonna loosen off the oil pump. See it's loosening off. And there it is, back down to zero and that's loose. So there you go guys, let me know what you think. Is this something you guys do? Do you um, check with the oil pump on? The guys that are using plastic gauge, this might be an issue because you gotta torque the main caps down before you put the oil pump on because you can't get at the bolt very easily to torque it, the one, uh, the one cap bolt. So you are already squished that plastic gauge down and now you've increased the oil clearance with the oil pump being on. So that might not be something um, that you're aware of because once the plastic gauge is squished, that's it. So this is only really something you can see with a bore gauge. So when I'm checking my main bearing clearance with a bore gauge, I always have the oil pump torqued on there and, and checked uh, you know, a few different spots to make sure that we do have the proper bearing clearance because as you can see, the oil pump does make a difference.